as Cliff Thomas faces Tommy Williams. Van Camfert and Joe Corley were ringside for the bout. This should be a barn burner, folks. Our judges, Rio de Janeiro from Topeka, Al Martinez from Santa Fe, and Rod Prejan from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Ready to go with action in round one. Cliff Thomas with the stripe down the side of his trousers. And of course, Tommy Williams in the all black. Here we go with action in round one. Tommy Williams, the most proficient kicker record-wise in the PK, and there you saw the first spinning back kick land of the fight. Tommy Williams told us earlier he was going to give us another knockout with the spinning back kick. He has had 17 knockouts in his career. 15 have come from that spinning back kick. There's the he power. Is staggered. Tommy Williams was staggered. The power of Cliff Thomas. He has the reach advantage. He has a height advantage. He has power, more power in his upper body than Tommy Williams. Cliff Thomas with a short left hook is what temporarily staggered Tommy Williams. He seems to be back though. He has his composure back. Not a bad right hand by Tommy Williams. He spun around as though he was going to throw the spinning back fist and came with a wide and overhand right. Some redness on the right rib cage of Tommy Williams. Boy, a terrific right hook by Cliff Thomas. I can say that Tommy Williams is a thinking fighter, as is Cliff Thomas. You can almost hear the gears grinding in both these guys' brains now. Tommy Williams, very unorthodox. He's liable to make you miss a lot of shots. What a combination in from Cliff Thomas. Spinning kicks, followed with a spinning back fist. Both fighters showing great uh, technicians here, kicking, using their fists. Oh, a tremendous left round kick. Snapping Williams' head back, we saw that same round kick land against Paul Vizio two years ago. The first round is any indication we're in for a great 12 rounds of action here between Cliff Thomas and Tommy Williams. You see, Thomas is just measuring Williams in his first round. He measured him, snapped his head back. You see Tommy Williams reacting to that. Back in the corner now with Cliff Thomas. Again, action from round one. You see round. Thomas coming around with that spinning back kick and a spinning back fist. What a combination. Think about that left round kick, left back kick, right spinning back fist. Think of the coordination. Thomas with nine kicks, Williams with 12 in the first round. Action in round two, Tommy Williams in the all black, Cliff Thomas in the black with the straight down the side. Cliff Thomas looks as cool and calm and as collected as any human being you've ever seen, but he says inside is pure turmoil. Well, before the fight and all of the pre-fight publicity, Cliff Thomas was a little upset that nobody would give him credit for good kicking techniques. Well, I gave him credit in that first round for that round kick. I had a score for him 10 to 9, and look at that, same kind of stuff from him. Joining us at ringside right now is Tony Rosser. Tony, former world lightweight champion, what does it look like? Are you surprised from what we're seeing from uh, Cliff Thomas? No, not at all. I, I assume that, that Cliff will go back to the, to, the, to the old gym and start working on his kicks a little bit more. People have been taking a lot away from Cliff about his kicks. Well, Cliff Thomas is coming in here and unloading powerful kicks on Tommy Williams. Both men have indicated that if they win this fight, they wanted to hang on to the lightweight title. They have 48 hours. They have to give up one title after 48 hours. Both men have indicated that they would likely give up that light welterweight crown. Tommy Williams making Cliff Thomas miss, but Cliff Thomas is jamming. The oh, spinning back fist right on the cheekbone. But it didn't seem to phase Cliff Thomas. 
He mixes him up like that. Tony Rosser, Williams mixes up the spinning back kick and the spinning back fist. I tell you, he's just unbelievable with, the, with both, both of those two techniques. Winding down action in round two. And it's been like this from the very beginning. Both fighters moving at a good pace. Good hit, yeah. Right jab, stiff and long from Cliff Thomas. There, there is that see. spinning back fist. Yeah, that's Tommy Williams spinning. With Cliff Thomas expecting a spinning back kick. He dropped his arm down to protect against the back kick, but the spinning back fist was there. As we see Tommy Williams there, the key to his success in the ring has been his calm, cool, collected manner. He knows this fight couldn't be lost in one round, so he's still not intimidated. When you follow up, you got him. Come on, brother. Looking good, looking good. Just follow up, stay on him, keep flowing. In the corner, Tommy Williams. They're telling him to follow up, keep on him. Here we go with action in round three. Raymond McCallum working in the corner with Tommy Williams, one of this sport's all-time great athletes. It looks to me as the fight goes on that Cliff Thomas is beginning to realize that maybe this fella can't hurt me, and he just seems to be boring in. He's been hit by some good spinning back kicks and a good spinning back fist, and it hasn't seemed to phase Cliff Thomas. Look at the timing there. Tony Ross with the timing of Tommy Williams. He has some unbelievable timing, and his accuracy is just incredible. He gets out of the way. He causes you to overcommit yourself in encounters. One of the things that I think Cliff Thomas is doing that will help him is he's acting completely unconcerned when he gets hit with a Williams kick. Thomas fighting a real smart fight. He'll land a couple of punches and get out of there before Cliff starts rolling. Listen to these fans in El Paso. They're all cheering for Tommy. No. Magic Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> Spinning back this win by Cliff. By uh, Tommy Williams right on the temple. Cliff Thomas seems like it didn't bother him. Once again, Tommy, Tommy Williams has incredible accuracy, but Thomas can really take a punch. Another one right on the chin. Tommy Williams mixing up those kicks. Side kicks, round kicks, spinning back kicks, spinning back fists. They're stopping the time. Referee's stopping the time to correct the boot quickly. The boot on the right foot of Cliff Thomas has come off. They'll have to put a piece of tape on that to tape it down. Looks like there were about 15 seconds left in the round. The, I noticed when Tommy uh, Cliff Thomas was throwing the right round kick earlier, the force seemed to shake the boot loose from his leg. About ten seconds left in round. Another spinning back fist lands right on the head. Time running out here in the third round. We'll be back with more in a moment. So the Civic Center in the action between Cliff Thomas and Tommy Williams. Here's action out of round three, Joe. Tommy Williams starting to be more and more cagey, landing several spinning back fists there throughout that round. Thomas, unperturbed by them, countered well, but Tommy Williams really taking advantage. Here we go, action in round four. Cliff Thomas and Tommy Williams. Thomas, I have ahead by one point now, 29-28, even though I gave that last round to Tommy Williams. Boy, those spinning back fists have been landing, but they don't seem to phase uh, Cliff Thomas. They've got, to, they've got to phase him if he keeps landing. I mean, Thomas can't continue accepting him like that. Tommy Jesus. Williams' distance keeps Cliff Thomas a little off target with his kick. You made a good point earlier, Joe. The awkwardness or apparent awkwardness of Tommy Williams. He isn't awkward at all, but he appears to be awkward. Is disconcerting to his opponent. 
Tommy Williams was then being warned by Bob Yarnell for holding on to Thomas's arm. He told him he would start subtracting points if he continued holding. Tommy Williams is very quick, very quick. And he's landed another spinning back fist. Thomas now with a powerful inside tight hook. That was on the arm. Williams got his arm in front of that kick, thankfully. He's always moving. Cliff Thomas now ducking under those spinning back fists. He's got to be careful because Williams might now spin around with a spinning back kick and duck right into that heel. There's the bell, ending round four. That's the kind of uh, kick that is a fight stopper. Tony Rosser, thanks for joining us here at ringside. I know we're going to see you back in the ring here in El Paso soon. Thank you, Joe. Here we go with action in round five. Tommy Williams with 11 kicks in that last round. My card here shows Cliff Thomas with seven kicks in that last round. I'll have to double check that to see if he was short. Very, very fast left hand then by Thomas. Williams under it. Thomas sharp shooting at times, throwing too much power at other times. This is what Tommy Williams does to you. He frustrates you. You don't know which way to start. You don't know whether to start with a kick. You don't know whether to throw a straight left hand. Nice uppercut. That may have got, that may have got Williams' nose. Williams looks like he's trying to get some time here now. Oh, a good right hook. You can't let Tommy Williams up. Spinning back kick right on the chin. Oh, the spinning back fist by Tommy Williams. What a fight we have here in El Paso. Cliff Thomas and Tommy Williams. People have been waiting two years for this fight, and it's not disappointing anybody. Good shot to the body by Thomas. Another good shot to the body. Thomas now turning into those spinning back kicks. That one, that one may have caught him. Winding down round five. We'll be back with more action in just a moment. Williams in trouble. He's trying to hang on. He's got his breath back now. Tommy Williams saw that one coming and made darn sure he was out of the way. Tommy Williams looked like he was breathing pretty hard in between these last two rounds. He is hurting, Joe. Tommy Williams, I think one of the shots to the midsection really took the wind out of him. And he's so busy dodging punches from Kirk Thomas, he can't execute any offense. Cliff Thomas trying to take him out now. Knocks Tommy Williams through the rope. Tommy Williams trying to dig down now. It may be all over, Joe. Thomas really looks in bad shape. Back to the bread and butter for Tommy Williams. Three jump spinning back kicks in a row. Boy, there's the bell ending round six, and not too soon for Tommy Williams. Let's go back in his corner. They're working hard on him. But it was about midway through the fifth round, or sixth round, Joe, when Thomas uh, caught Tommy Williams with a good body shot, and that really took the air out of him. Here we are, action out of round six. He's got Williams on the rope, a left hook, a right hook. 
He tries to dig an uppercut to the body. Williams goes over the rope and out. Tommy Williams was hurting. He took the eight count. He came back with his bread and butter, which was the jump spinning back kicks, and those kept Thomas off of him through the end of the round. They're telling Tommy to move, 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 but it's hard to move when you don't have any, any breath. Round seven. Let's see if Tommy Williams has a second wind here now. Well, he said he came in here in excellent condition. You saw two legs. Look at Tommy Williams. He spins with the left leg, then spins with the right leg. I've got Thomas ahead by three points now. 58, 55. Solid kicked in by Williams. Williams is moving again now. He's moving pretty good, left and right. Cliff Thomas is going in pretty much unprotected now. He's acting like he thinks this fight's over. As I said a little earlier, it looks like Cliff Thomas says, I can take anything that Tommy Williams can throw, so I'm just going to walk in and try to get rid of him. That, that is not the safest thing to do. This is where Cliff Thomas has got to work. When he gets in close, he's got to do some punching in there. I think he's going to catch Tommy Williams with one of those wide right hooks eventually when Williams tries to get away from the clinches. Tommy is literally running around the ring right now. That hook, got a right hook there. Came off the ropes with two good punches. Maybe Williams is getting his second breath. Tommy Williams has not lost any of his composure. Anybody who thought that Tommy Williams wasn't full of courage is surely surprised. What a great fight here in El Paso. The seventh round is winding down. Good and they're going toe to toe. -to. We'll be back with more action in just one moment. Out on hand, ready to go with action in round eight. Cliff Magic Thomas, and they're saying magic. Tommy Williams using that spinning back kick twice in a row, and even though you know it's coming, it ends up catching him. The Thomas exchange then, the Thomas combination had to hurt Tommy Williams. It seemed to me that Thomas ought to work to the body because he really caught him back in the fifth round. Just as he shot. said it, he caught him with a left uppercut right in the solar plexus. Cliff Thomas showing us some of the kicks from his early fights. Wow, good kick by Cliff Thomas. An inside crescent kicked in by Cliff Thomas. Another hard left to the body. Tommy Williams, you think he's backing off, then he nails you like he did then. Left, solid left hand then by Tommy Williams. Tommy Williams' arms are getting ty tired on him. They look like they're getting heavy. But somehow, some way, he still surprises you with those spinning back. Oh, a left, a short left to the jump. It definitely took it out of Tommy Williams. Still time left in the eighth round. Let's see if Williams is, oh, he's really hurt. He's really hurt. There's the bell. Saved by the bell. Tommy Williams, with pain on his face, comes back to his corner. Let's stay right here. Look at this, folks. Here is a man who is really hurting. Tommy Williams hurting.
pushing through this round. The left hand, just like you call it, man, right on the jaw. His leg said, no, I can't take this next step. My body's been hit. You hear Paul breathing? Tommy Williams saying he cannot breathe and his body's been hit too much. Started back in the fifth round. He's having a hard time breathing. I think he's saying his rib is cracked. Ready to go with round nine. This may be the round. Let's see if Tommy Williams can get a second going here. You look at him come out, Joe. It still takes a lot of energy to lift that leg. Magic Thomas trying to close out the fight. And he does. He stops. He stops him again with another left. Merciful move then by Tom, uh, Cliff Thomas. He could have gone ahead and nailed him, but he decided not to. Tommy Williams looking it over at us like he may have had it. Cliff Thomas slipped and fell down. The referee is not stopping this fight because Tommy Williams still is coming back with solid kicks, solid punches. He's obviously got his composure about him. But Cliff Thomas is getting stronger. Oh, another left hand, another left, a left and right to the stomach. How can he take it, Joe? I don't know how he, look at him come back. Oh, no, 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 he says he's had enough. He said, that's, that's it, him. that's it, the fight's over. The fight's over, as it should be. What a great fight. Cliff Thomas, Cliff Thomas reigns as the lightweight champion and the world light welterweight champion in a great fight in El Paso, Texas.